go. Free race, efforts done. Feel pretty good to be fair. Not too shabby considering I've got broken legs still. So I'm pretty happy about that. Did last one two minutes at 300 watts, and then 30 seconds 360. So there he is, the man himself. So yeah, we should be going well tomorrow. I've got Bristol South, which is up Burrington. Last year came ninth. We'll be coming ninth this year, but here's what it is. Got some legs, yeah, I've got some form back, sorry. And uh, yeah, if I'm not swinging after I actually get there, it's an hour out. No too much fitness these days. Then uh, I reckon it's gonna be a good day out for the old man. Can he beat anyone? Maybe. 300 watts for like eight to 10 minutes. I hope, I hope. Yeah, we'll see. Catch you in a bit. So that was my pre-race ride done. Um, afterwards, like obviously just went home and whatever. And then next day I had an early wake up ride to the HQ, which is pretty decent. Here's me just cruising through Bristol. Cheers, Bolly, for taking the bid. Um, and yeah, not, you know, went to the HQ, felt pretty good. Did my normal warm up, skin suit, etc. Took it pretty seriously, to be fair. And uh, yeah, you know, the results were obviously good. You know, I came like 47th or something, um, 280 watts it was. Uh, but yeah, we'll dive into the Strava details about now. Here it is. Here is the file from my race uh, last weekend. So as you can see, 9 minutes 21 uh, was the official time. Uh, average power was 282 watts. This heart rate is wrong. It's about 200 the whole way because my heart rate is just so high. So Barrington Kuma came ninth last year. Pretty decent, did like 380 watts last year, so I was pretty happy with that. But anyway, this year obviously not looking going to be the same, but I mean, you can see like generally it's not too bad. Max power 458, that's okay. I Starting is a bit hard, I can't really sprint too well. But anyway, so I settled into like 300, I thought to begin with, then realized, nah, it's not going to happen. So the first probably like minute or so, I was more like closer to that. So first three minutes, like 290 watts, and then sort of knew like, nah, it's not going to happen. And also, I mean, I was just like, I don't really want to go full, you know what I mean? Like, when you're properly up for it, you know, you've had a good good season training, you've had a really specific hill climb races, like, you know, you're properly up for it, then you, you do give it. But when you're just like, well, I'm not really going to gain that much time. Uh, but anyway, like 21k an hour, 6% climb. It's not bad. 290 watts for 5 minutes, 45, considering the amount of training I've been doing recently. I, I was I was pretty pleased, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really film anything from the HQ, but you, we'll go over to the results now. So... Obviously, Laverick won, he did about 7.2, I think it was, was per kilo. Um, yeah, so he's obviously flying. Um, I think my time last year was like 9.20, something around here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it would have been right. I think it was slightly slow day, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'm like 57th, here we go. Um, probably lowest ever <laughs> position in a hill climb part of Nationals. But uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. I was pretty happy with how it went. You know, 57th out of 93, considering... That I didn't. I mean, I didn't have an ideal ten weeks off the bike. I calculated, um, and obviously my legs are still technically broken now. Um, when you have, when I went for the X-ray the other week, um, I they were saying like you know it's still still broken. But anyway, that's pretty good. I was pretty pleased with it, and it is what it is. We're going to keep training. We're going to keep going full. So I've got my training plan here, which we're going to sort out. Um, so you can see, like I didn't really have the best like compliance if you know what I mean like there's been a lot of um reds a lot of reds just because like it's just a bit harder to know how you're going to feel on the day etc etc um so yeah you just don't really know what it's going to be like but I think from now on I've sort of figured out when I can train this week I was supposed to ride today but I, my leg feels really bad so I didn't um I was also going to go gym as well but we'll do an hour this is sort of my rest week as you can see really chill week um, so we've got the fitness down from, uh, so you can see big fatigue, 69. I really like to go over 70 or 80 often, but you know, I've been to 120 before. You just don't really feel great. It takes a bit longer than a week, I find, to like properly be soaking the gains, etc. But this, yeah, so we took down, down two fitness points, fatigue about 29 down. So it's pretty good. And then we're going to start building up again. So you can see it's mainly like just endurance, bit of tempo here or there. Again, the FTP... So based on this, what I've generally found is that it's about 120% more or less for most people for this effort. An 8 to 10 minute effort for most people, they can do about 120% of FTP. That is 280, so divide by 1.2, and you can see my FTP is about 233. I predicted it to be about 220, so bumped up a little bit. Again, like, you know, just cruising around, it's really, really hard to tell what numbers they are, because 
it's so variable. Obviously, my power meter is left sided only, so if my left leg's being a bit weaker, like then my numbers aren't going to be as good. But like on the power meter, but I might still be doing the same amount of watts or more, just because I'm getting fitter aerobically. That because it's like sort of two pronged thing. Obviously, I'm unfit because I haven't trained. So if you take ten weeks off the bike, you're going to be unfit. But I'm also like my left leg isn't as strong. My left leg balance at the moment is about 55, 45 stronger than my right leg, so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, so generally it's just going to the gym. So go to the gym like four times a week. This is just like a uni thing, stretch and core. Um, it's quite nice. Half an hour early on Monday morning, it's, it's not bad. I quite enjoy going to that. And then my three gym sessions a week, which is always good. Uh, generally I have two rest days, as you can see here, here, here and here. Um, Friday I got lab, so it works out pretty well. Like normally, if I wasn't like where I am now, I would just do like an hour easy in the morning. But um, I need to make sure I get around labs this year because obviously they're quite tiring. You've got six hours to stand up, so it's not great. But yeah, this is sort of the plan, just a bit of tempo. Got tempo three times this week. Um, and, you know, just trying to gradually increase. Obviously, this week goes down a little bit, uh, 13.45 to 13 hours. But I want to try and keep it realistic. Like this three-hour ride, I'm not sure if it's going to be possible, but we'll, we'll be able to tell by then. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to, I often just get to think like, oh, I'll do 20 hour weeks. Like, well, yeah, I, I could do a 20 hour week for sure. But like, could I do it the next week after? And also like with the other things in uni, like this, this year is a lot harder. I have to do a lot more work. Well, last year, like to be honest, I didn't know work really at all. Um, still, still did well because it just wasn't hard at all. So I could basically be full time on the bike and go to bare minimum. While now, like I actually have to work quite a lot. So yeah. And then I'm just going to stop putting a bit of threshold in just like. Just a little burst, quite like this ride. Um, seems to be, I don't know if it makes too many gains, but it's pretty nice. And then just more three hour rides. And then you can start to see we're doing 17 hour weeks, 18 hour weeks. And um, I don't know, during exams, I've got exams after this in January, um, second, no, third and fourth week in January. So I'm not sure exactly what we'll be looking like by then. But for sure, hopefully, you know, if when my leg starts to get pretty strong. So at the moment, my left leg, I can leg press 40, so I do like three to four um, reps of, sorry, of 10, three to four sets of 10 reps uh, at about 41 kilos for my left leg, and my right leg's on about 63 or something, I believe. So obviously, like, my left leg is a lot weaker, but they started off, my left leg started off on eight kilos, so, you know, you can see the improvement. My right leg was on, like, 32, so it's definitely getting better, but I think, yeah, when I um, I get stronger i'll probably sack off one of these gyms i should just do it twice in the in the gym but we i'm gonna keep this gym going i think until hill come season probably because i think there's good games to be had in the gym and yeah we'll see uh we'll see it all i'm i'm staying in the uk over christmas which is quite good so it means i'll be able to train a fair amount hopefully um compared to if i was going away and also obviously i still have exams so we'll see with that but yeah it's looking good um so i still have my goal which is march i think March is nine months after my accident. Mm, is it nine? Yeah, it would be about nine months after my accident, and that's when I want to do 350 watts because that's my best 20 minute power. Try and get back to 350 by March, and then you know hill climb season more. Uh, it's quite a big goal actually because I felt really well this year. Obviously with Hay Tour, I was really excited for that, and it was something that was sort of on my radar very early on. Obviously, I want to get second because I'm four points off now, but there's no way I can get four points by the end of November because like, although my threshold isn't horrendous, you know, 240 watts can get around, an, e an easy third cat crate can get around on 240 watts, no worries. Um, we just see in it. And then, like, the issue is it's just the sprinting, like, my max power is 600 watts, really, like, and it's not good to do it. And also the risk of crashing is also relatively high. Um, and I really can't crash at the moment because my bones aren't fully healed. So we won't be racing. But, yeah, next year I'll just be, like, racing, trying to get a second cat, maybe first if we're really hard. Um, and then I want to try and win a Bucks medal. Um, so if you don't know what Bucks is, it's like the university, inter-university competition, and I really want to win a medal by the time I leave uni. Um, obviously, this year would have probably been a fair chance of getting one. Um, it was on quite a good climb, same as last year's Mam Tor, Mam Nick, whatever it's called. So I was really keen on that, but unfortunately, obviously, that's not going to happen. And Hay Tor was a similar length, so I was going to train for that. But I think next year, Nationals like two, three minutes long. I'm not I'm not going to train for Nationals. I'm going to train for Bucks. I think the guy did today did 428 watts, and he says he weighs 58 kilos on Strava, but my mate was there, so he might weigh a little bit more, but it'll be around like 7 watts per kilo for 6 minutes. Um, my best 6 minute power at the moment, 6 7 minute power is about 395 at 61 kilos, so obviously that's you know 6.5 watts per kilo. Not bad, not great, but um, for sure I could definitely get down to 58, 59 kilos 
Um, obviously, in hospital, I was 57 kilos, and that probably wasn't ideal, but I lost a lot of body weight. So I don't think 57 might be a little bit low, but 58 definitely. Um, but I'll just actually really need to eat well over the summer, um, sleep well as well, not to have too much oil, and just try and minimize stress during the whole period of October. And then, you know, we should be should be good to go, hopefully. Um, obviously, training will be going well. Um, hopefully, we'll get to, like, six watts per kilo for 20 minutes this year. I also had that goal a long time ago. And to be fair, I wasn't far off it um, that year in terms of numbers. It was just weight. Like, I just think I slightly overestimate how easy it is to lose weight based on my current lifestyle choices of not actually wanting to really, like, look into everything that I eat. Like, I, I especially, obviously, at the moment, like, I don't care at all. But even generally, I don't have the discipline that other people do in order to just literally eat zero oil and all the rest of it. Like, obviously, I eat well, but I don't eat, like, to the nth degree well. Uh, and obviously like looking at everything and thinking how I can get this and also sleep I think I could also improve on but that's definitely going to be something next year obviously like I won't be going out as much either because as uni the uni is getting more serious next year so I'll have more time well not more time but just more I don't know how to put it but m like more energy into the hill climb season hopefully um, and then really try and get a good result top top result hopefully try and get a podium maybe I don't know it's gonna be pretty hard but if I can do 7.2 watts per kilo I think then I sh for six minutes I should have it um but it's it's like a high six minutes like six minutes 40 so it's like you know for five minutes obviously I'm gonna do like 420 430 or something and that's like 61 kilos so again that is seven watts per kilo but I think you know I want to try and do 420 430 for six minutes 40 that'll be the goal I guess and according to my calculation I did before about 1.2 that means threshold of like 350 ish so that's that's pretty high but I think with some proper hill climb, tr um, hill climb training, you could probably probably get that higher. Um, you could probably let us in. You can get the, that ratio. Maybe do one point three, uh, one hundred thirty percent of your FTP for six seven minutes. Uh, but yeah, we will we'll see. So yeah, no, all things are going well. Um, everything's pretty good. I finally got physio again, which is nice because I didn't have physio for ages. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, cheers for watching. Last bit, I will see wasn't much happening on the screen, but. I hope you did enjoy it, uh, and I hope to try and make more videos in the future because I've been a bit useless at the moment. It's just, you know, obviously everyone has excuses, but I just haven't been organised enough to set, set aside blocks of times to make YouTube videos. So I will we'll do that in the future, and I'll see you all soon.